Welcome and thank you very much everyone visiting uh, this tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is an extension of the previous tutorials of uh, the course Introduction to Development Management. In the previous uh, sections, in the previous uh, tutorials, we discussed about the fundamental notions, concepts, meanings and definitions of development. And uh, the notable um, statement we made about development uh, is that development is a multi-dimensional phenomenon uh, which involves um, progress and a change throughout different phases of human civilization. And for the sake of understanding the term development in the context of this course, we defined um, development in terms of progress and positive changes in uh, social, economic, political, environmental, gender development, gender aspect is. And, and uh, you know, in the previous um, tutorials, we discussed about um, social and economic development. This time around, um, this is about political development, and this uh, tutorial, uh, this tutorial is focus um, is on on political development. To start with, uh, political development in simple term, okay, in, in in simple um, um, speech, it means um, you know a development dimension uh, whereby citizens are free to choose any leader they desire. And um, it is a dimension in which uh, citizens, whereby citizens contest for any public office they are interested in, so so long as they are qualify. Okay. Therefore, in 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 fundamental speech, okay, in common speech, when we call a political development, political development is uh, the dimension of development wherein. Uh, citizens choose the city uh, the, the leader of their uh, choice the leader of uh, their desire in in a democratic manner okay in a democratic manner and it is a dimension whereby citizens um, compete for any public office they are interested in as long as they are um, uh, they qualify okay as long as they qualify as long as they are camp uh, as long as they are competent okay um the progress of political system from a less desirable state of being toward is a one that is more desirable. Okay, when we say political development, it is a progress of political system. It is the advancement of political system from desirable from less desirable to the le, you know from less desirable state of being to the desirable state of being. Okay, and the desirable state of being of political prog progress is characterized by a uh, rule of law okay you know a desirable um, state of being of political process is built on democratic values and um, according to united nations definition of political development it is the achievement of stable democracy okay united nation defines political development as a, as an achievement of stable democracy that promotes the well-being of its citizens in equitable, humane, and environmentally concerned way. Okay, politically developed society is where diverse opinions are accommodated and the free will of the people is respected. Therefore, in a politically developed society, diversity is tolerated. Diversity is tolerated, and the opinions are accommodated. Okay, you know there can be a diverse opinions. People can hold their own opinions, their own, you know, standards. Okay, people can differ in ideologies, and this uh, this diversity of opinions, okay, diversity of perspectives, should be respected, should be accommodated, tolerated in a politically developed society. Therefore, in a politically uh, developed society, the a diverse opinion, uh, you know, diverse opinions are uh, accommodated, and the free will of the people is respected. Lucien Pierre links political development with a political awakening of uh, the people. This uh, scholar associates political development with the extent to which the public of a given country, the public of uh, a particular country, 
awake to the political realities, awake to the political specifications. To what extent the people are aware about polit political rights, political practices, political exercises, okay? determines, the, uh, determines political development. People's participation in the political process is a legitimate part of political development. Political development would be there if and only if there is mass participation in the political process. Mass political, uh, you know, you know, public participation, people's participation in the political process. The pol a political process that is, you know, a political process that is unfolding without involving the public in its process, then no way it can uh, bring about positive political development. However, when we say a people should participate in the political process, you sh we should be careful. Okay? Because, you know, people's participation in the political process has a danger of Israel emotionalism and corrupting demography, uh, which in turn weakens the strings of the society. When the way people should participate in the political process should only be in accordance with the law, in accordance with the rules. Uncontrolled participation of the public in the political process may cause strong emotionalism. People, you know, try to form groups, informal groups, that unnecessarily influence, okay, that uh, legally influence the political process. Therefore, um, w when we say um, people's participation in the political process, we are talking about a legally limited, legally controlled uh, public participation in the political process. Political participation can lead to acceptance of political system characterized by many demonstrations, mass response to elite manipula ma manipulation, populist movements. Okay? You know, when there is um, uh, uncontrolled public par political participation of the public, a demonstration will be, you know, frequent demonstrations. The elite, the elite means those uh, who influence the public in a given uh, country, can come up, uh, you know, then would come up with agendas, with agenda, different agenda. Then. Uh, when they come up with the agenda, they try to transfer the uh, agenda to the public and when the public um, receives or accepts their agenda, then they call for demonstrations, riots, chaos, populist movements, okay? especially in, in, a, in ethnically um, diversified countries, in religious, relig uh, religiously um, diversified countries. In a countries where tribes are diversified, in a, in a countries where um, social class uh, are, are, are many, then political participation of uh, uh, the public should be um, critically, uh, critically um, handled, critically uh, controlled. According to uh, Hangton, as mobilization and participation are increasing, institutionalization becomes less focused, which in turn leads to political decay. Okay. Uh, when uh, there is um, uncontrolled okay, uh, mobilization and participation of the public in the political process, the roles of the institutions, of the democratic institutions, um, uh, would be secured, would be suppressed. Okay? So uh, the, the fact that people uh, should be Participated in the political process is is totally acceptable, but the way of participation should be limited within the um, within the legal framework within the legal framework. Okay, you, you, know, you know to protect the institutions, much part of the political development should be ascribed, should be attributed to the institutions, to the democratic institutions, not um, not you know, unprincipled uh, people's participation. People can participate in the political process only through the institutions, strong institutions, institutions, um, you know, that give spaces for the public itself to participate, institutions that care for the public, institutions that are long-living, institutions that are sustainable 
regardless of the change of presidents, regardless of change in in in, in, in prime minister of uh, the uh, country. Okay. So political participation need to be um, rational and limited within a legal framework. Okay. It can be in the form of electoral campaign, in the form of voting, in the form of joining political parties, volunteering, contacting public officials, contributing money, holding public office, and even protesting. Okay. Those are all forms. Those all are the forms of political participation. But what we are saying now and again is this participation should be molded within the framework of law. Political development endeavor in a country should focus on institutionalization. Therefore, much part of the role of political development should be given to the institutions, to the democratic institutions. Institutionalization of politics and political process is a crucial element in political development. If there, if there are no strong, um, you know, political, you know, democratic institutions, then uh, there is no way politics can be practiced in a rational and in a way that can address the concern of the uh, vast majority of uh, the public of a given country. Political institution, in political institutionalization, hence, refers to the establishment of institutions through constitution or legal mechanisms. Therefore, political institutions are institutions uh, that are established based on the law of the land, which is constitution, based on legal mechanisms, and have no, um, you know, sustainable existence. Sustainable existence can stay for a long time, addressing the public's concern, not party concern, not government um, officials concerned, but the, the concern of the nation and the concern of the vast majority of the public and political, you know, you know democratic institutions are uh, crucial in, in the course of exercising political development. In, a politically, uh, in politically developed countries, appropriate institutions like electoral commission, courts, civil society, um, judiciary bodies, executive bodies, civil, you know, civil service, all this, all this, are there in place, and they, they are developed to manage political competition in a free, fair, transparent manner, to the extent that candidates have confidence in such institutions, so that any disputes, any disagreement, uh, that may arise from such competition are also managed peacefully. Therefore, in what makes developed countries different from uh, developing countries is their orientation um, uh, to establish strong democratic institutions, strong political institutions, institutions in which every actor in the realm of the politics has confidence in. Okay? So that when uh, disagreement is uh, match, then they directly go to uh, the institutions and then they settle their difference, their disagreement. And the decisions of those institutions uh, are, re are reliable, reliable and, and, and get um, you know, legitimate acceptance from uh, the every um, party involved, every party involved. Political development requires that government is based on rule of law. Okay? It, in politically developed society or in a politically developed country, government is only formed if and only if there is rule of law. It is based on rule of law. That respect is, uh, you know, uh, therefore the government that is formed on um, uh, the base of rule of law uh, would respect uh, people's rights, allow uh, allows citizens to enjoy fundamental freedoms such as a freedom of speech, freedom of association and any other freedoms um, they are interested in uh, so long as um, this is done within uh, the law. Okay? As far as people exercise their political rights within the framework of laws, the government need to respect. Okay? And this only happens in politically developed countries. In, in politically developing countries, there is no political freedom. There is no political liberty. And people have no um, you know, uh, freedom of uh, speech, freedom of 
of association or freedom of exercising any political right and if they exercise it then it uh, will be you know in determined to their uh, to their life okay that is what is observed in the third world countries in addition political development uh, manifests itself in terms of representation of all section of the people in a political administration and in in a, de in a politically developed um, countries political development uh, can be defined in a such a way that it represents all sections of the society every section of the society gets representation in political development there is no one discriminated there is no one left out Okay. There is no class of society left out. There is no ethnicity left out. There is no religion ignored from the political process, from the political representation in political development. Um, um, you know, in political development. Okay. Therefore, po for political development to uh, be, you know, a true development, it should um, manifest itself in terms of representation of all sections of the people in political administration. To sum up, political development is a development of institutions, attitudes, and values that form the political power system of the country's society. Therefore, it is political development is about institutionalization. It's about having um, a democratic institutions uh, that are, uh, are built on, on democratic values, democratic principles, and um, a democratic uh, practices attitudes okay, and values that form political power system of the country's society uh, therefore this is all about uh, the you know the notion of the political development you can uh, take uh, this uh, fundamental uh, issues that we raise about political development and uh, get into it uh, deeply uh, by referring uh, into um, books and other internet sources uh, that uh, could give you uh, the wider perspective of uh, political development. Uh, thank you very much.